Sunil sir and Dr. Titiyal, uh, all distinguished guests for uh, gracing the occasion and blessing us on this uh, very important milestone. I'll say a little bit about why and uh, how we do these things uh, for, for the eradication of blindness or for addressing or developing solutions uh, which matters to the people on the ground. He just looks so cool. Can he keep that cool going? Loads of things will be going through his mind. Should I go for another one? Should I look for another boundary? If I take a single, it'll be Mohamed Asif on strike. In the air, Srijan takes it! India win! Unbelievable scenes here at the bull ring. Jeff Lawson can't believe it. The Pakistan players stunned. And India would believe they've got out of a corner. Miss Baal Haq doesn't want to leave the field. But what a match for a 2020 final. India, the world champions. Many of you are pointing the video is not there. But that was deliberate because no one watches the match like this. But there are at least 15 million people who do all these activities like this. And for most of you become very irritating that, oh, you, there's no video. So we can't tolerate a video or seeing without even for a one minute and think about the people who are blind forever. And when a person loses eyesight, he does, just does not become blind. He loses hope, he loses self-respect, and also the will to live. And to restore these elements is very important that we innovate and we uh, do such things. Just to give you an idea about the magnitude of this problem, every five seconds, one person in our world goes blind. Every minute, a child goes blind. 90% of blindness is in the developing country, and that is 90% of all that is in India. So the magnitude of the problem that we are dealing and uh, the, what we have to do is humongous, and just doing operations is not going to work. So we need to do further uh, develop new solutions. For example, this gentleman who hails from Gujarat, who got married, an engineer, went to Canada, and the moment, uh, within a few years, he got blind in both eyes. And for next 40 years, he remained blind because there was no solution for his problem. In 2006, he came to Hyderabad, and where we did the the stem cell transplant and the daughter flew from New, uh, Switzerland and she donated the limbal tissue and he saw the daughter for the first time. The value of such uh, intervention is immense and uncalculable. I didn't believe what I was seeing. I had a completely clear sight. It was unbelievable. Yen Rose comes from a very developed country called Netherlands and uh, he could afford anything, whatever was available. But in, in Netherlands and whole of Europe, there was no such treatment. And the doctors there did not tell him about that, that treatment is available in India. He discovered us on in internet and came to Hyderabad. And then after surgery, he, this is what he has to say. Sometimes I just close my right eye to enjoy the marvelous improvement in the left eye. So I'm in very India, grateful that an strength. unknown patient from Netherlands and my life has changed after coming to India. And his life did change significantly. He, when he was blind, he, he, was, he lost hope. His uh, girlfriend left him. His business was going down. Coming here, he built a business in India. He comes every three to four months and for checkup. I have seen him here also regularly. The stem cell treatment that we started in, uh, in 2001 represented the world's largest stem cell treatment for any organ anywhere in the world with an excellent uh, success rate of 75%. And that resulted in the inauguration of stem cell lab in 2005 by President Kalam. And these kind of uh, in inaugurations and institutions were ahead of time. But today, it represents one of the finest laboratory in the world dedicated for eye diseases and developing new treatments. This boy, 
was brought to us in 2012 and father said uh, he doesn't want to go to school can you remove the eye and uh, we said maybe we can do something different and this is what we did we took the tissue from the normal eye used the other eye after cleaning up as a laboratory as a petri dish and grown the tissue within the eye and that resulted in significant over 90% improvement well, my mission is basically to learn about the science and technology of a new type of uh, corneal limbo cell transplantation that Dr. Varinder Sangwan has invented and popularized. So this technology which is made entirely in India for the world and is going all over the world and uh, you can see in this graph the number of surgeons, the number of publications globally rising and it's competing technology which is there in Europe called Holoclar. For one patient, it costs 85,000 euro. And the surgery which we have developed here costs $700 at most. And in, mo in our, about 50% of those patients, we do completely free. So this has democratized uh, the surgery and the stem cell technology. And when you say that you need to deal with a huge amount of population, doctors alone cannot do. And we need technology. is very useful this so this innovation center started in 2013 uh, with the help of um, mit media lab in in boston and the bits plani hyderabad campus uh, we uh, started working with the engineers to develop inno innovative solutions and this again was inaugurated by president klam in 2013 and this uh, uh, innovation center represents one of the largest eye technology innovation center globally and there are 17 products which are at the deployment stage and this is one of a very simple auto refractor or a self uh, testing of the visual equity and can be used in the screening in telangana all school screening is done using by this device this brings us to another technology that that we have been developing and we have been working a bioengineered cornea meaning that do supply and demand gap is so much that human donations cannot meet that and over 10 million people are waiting uh, for the transplant and that's why the bioengineered cornea this is a patient that we did uh, surgery using a recombinant collagen which is bioengineered cornea and it has worked for you know f at least for five years that that i had followed the patient and from there that we started asking question can we not develop a better product like if you see the uh, if you see the uh, perforations or you know the patchwork that we have to do today you know what we are using favicol favicol is used for building material and that's what the product we use for sealing the corneal perforation and that's where this bioengineered liquid cornea comes into that we want to get rid of these things and we want to develop a very biologically integratable and regenerative uh, solution which will you know do the patchwork for these kind of eye problems which are not even classified as corneal blindness and all the patchwork that can be done easily can be customized to the situation can be customized to the problem of the patient and even last week i was in in singapore and a friend and collaborators from uh, japan we were talking about even these very difficult problems for which we don't have any solution this technology which we are developing will be very, very useful. And we are already 
thinking how Japan and India can collaborate to solve this uh, group of patients. So finally, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the craze to continue that counts. Thank you very much, gentlemen and ladies.